Hey everybody, this is Rado, and we are back with another recording of Hearthstone. All we have to do is play 30 minions that cost two or less. So, let's see, how, what we need to do, I guess, is look at our decks and see which ones would be the deck. Is it the Shaman deck that might be full of Marlocks? I guess inherently I always need a deck that is just a Murloc deck. Hmm. Because otherwise we're gonna get these quests and not have anything to do with them. I'm seeing a lot of two or l less on the druids. Is the Paladin not? The Paladin here is full of ones and twos hmm. let's look at the rogue, the rogue is a pirate deck ah uh, yeah look here that's it that's the one we want to play as, we're playing as the rogue today Let's see, I guess there's no reason to not play ranked right now, I guess. Mm. Right, so let's play that. Uh, ooh, I need to... However, if I want the Hearthstone deck tracker to work, I have to bring it back into the right deck. Mm. Valera! Versus Anduin! The light shall bring victory. Watch your... Let's see, that's not the right deck it's showing right now. Hopefully we can... Let's see, correct that. There we go. There we go. That's the right deck. It figured it out, good. So, ranked play. We're just gonna play some ranked play. Try to get maybe up to rank 21. Maybe even get up to rank 22. The, the weirdness there, of course, is, uh, is that if you really want to get up to ranks, you have to have a really great amount of skill and play and win just non-stop let's see taunt costs one less per to attack your weapon let's see i think i'll play that here we go let's go ahead and attack with this. Hmm, so we're starting to get back into where games might actually be showing up, but I haven't seen a ton yet, not a ton, that have caught my eye. I just don't think this is going to be a good, good year. What you want? We're, we're almost done, but in the world of video games, the Christmas is, I guess, the beginning of the year, as you, you might consider it that. Let's see. This. The fish, land lover. And then, if I attack, if I attach with this, that'll power this up. And then I Here can attack with go. this. And do that. Uh, yeah, I just don't see it. I think it's gonna be a great year for games. You have been. Hey. Well, that was pretty easy. So to get up the ranks, since it's been so long, you have to get the three stars then one more star that goes to the next section and we played 
I think probably about 13. No, we couldn't have played 13, 2 or less cards there. We played, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4 at most. But, but yeah, we'll get this quest done. Well. Uh, which is fine. It's fine to. Well, it's fine for me. It's not very good for the video game industry that if we. We're having bad years. I can't, right off the top of my head, think of any great games that came out last year. I am starting to see some exclusives for the PlayStation 4 coming out that might interest me. I mean, Until Dawn and the Uncharted Drake Collection, if those aren't ever coming to PC in any real time, well then, we're up to two games. Two games is still not enough, and yeah, I guess you could argue that the Drake Collection is technically more than two games. It's three games in itself, but I think I'd just ignore that argument for since it's since they're old games and then you have Uncharted 4 is gonna come out and if that doesn't come out for PC then the, you're, you're up to three games but hmm, it's still very burdensome to, to buy a PlayStation 4 it's an expensive endeavor to, to buy it then on top of that buy the capture equipment needed to record it and you can't, you just can't stream it. You, the share functions on it is not good enough. If that was good enough, it would certainly help quite a bit on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 thing. If you could just say, uh, here's an external hard drive, save it at 1080p 60 uh, to that and give me a flash video because that's what Google wants is flash video. But it doesn't work that way. It streams it, and streaming, even if you had uh, just the fastest of fast internet, streaming is still gonna be not as good as what I think I can do right now. Uh, just for latency alone. So, yeah. I am aware, if people are following me on Twitter, I am aware. I am retweeting a lot of things that are just contests. And yes, I'm aware that they're very possibly all scams. That... Blood and blood. But I hope they aren't, and I hope I win some of them. Uh, one of them was for Dragon Age Inquisition. Now I played, I think the original Dragon Age game, or maybe just an earlier Dragon Age game, and it was all right. It was a little weird, if it's hmm. uh, because it kind of portrayed itself like it was going to be an RPG type game but then it was rather linear and more story based and Unleashed threw me off a little beast. bit by doing that uh, I guess technically I don't have to win, but since I'm playing ranked, if I lose, I will lose the stars. Uh, if I want to get anyone to rank, I need to have a deck that will win consistently at rank 20 and 21 and 22. Yeah. Now you get more stars depending on where, what rank you're at when you end the season, but you still fall backwards. So a legendary rank of 1 is not going to automatically be a legendary rank of, uh, of 1 again. Let's see. 
if I play this, I can't play this. If I summon this and I play this, it doesn't do enough. If I do this and then this. Let's see. Here we go. Let's see if we can survive, which we can't. Hmm. We're gonna lose. <laughs> So, the, the whole system is designed that you have to constantly be playing if you don't bring yourself back up to legendary status by the end of a season, then you'll just get knocked down. And there goes my star. Of course, I have to, at first, get even above where I am, which is its own problem. I only got three that time. <laughs> and it is deceptive because once you start getting above a certain level, I don't know the exact level, but Valir you need more and more stars to go up to the next Your level. Shall be so it's not a simple, Watch you always have to get three practice. victories at each level. It's eventually gets up to you have to get six victories at each level. Hmm. Let's see. If I could get this guy out and start playing him, he'll he'd be pretty cool. Pretty cool. Why do you call? Hmm. What you got there? Let's see. Whenever this minion attacks the hero, I think we'll just go ahead and end the turn here. Of course, that gives them the opportunity to somehow magically kill this guy in, instead of using this guy to attack this. Hmm. We'll go ahead and summon this just so we can work towards our quest. Mostly just focusing on the quest. So I don't know what I'm going to do after Contrast. I imagine I'm going to... I think I'm thinking Child of Light. Uh, that is going to be a different style of game. Why do you call? Uh, and we, we've kind of... Intentionally or unintentionally, we've created this system where it's well I haven't created a system but I've accidentally played a lot of games that are very similar now in the world of video games a lot of games are very similar and you're, you're talking probably over 50% of all games are run and gun shooters of some sort Maybe they have RPG elements in it, maybe they have puzzle elements in it, but at the core of them, they are more running and gunning than anything else. So this, 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 and then this. And plunder. Ah. Do I want to kill this guy? Nope, I'll just leave it as it is. Let's get this guy powered up, then I'd like a Blade Fury. Definitely would like a Blade Fury right now. Here we go. Go ahead and attack 
this guy. So I could do six to the face and the Blade Fury for another six to the face. If I get it, that would be nice. Don't kill this guy. Give me, allow me to get the coin. Darn it. Well, that sucks. So yeah, I'm hoping Child of Light goes a longer, it, it will be in a different time slot than the uh, one I'm working on right now I think, but I hope it goes longer, I hope it, it helps uh, add something new, something different. Alright, summon this guy, play this. And then six Here to the face. Go. Still trying to get that blade fury. Uh, Mirror's Edge, I suppose, is eventually going to come out. Uh, but. I I'm not sure I'm gonna cover it because now that I've got this new Steam account, I don't have Mirror's Edge, you know, on that Steam account. So, uh, so playing the original before it means I would have to either be donated it or purchase it, which is a hard. Hard decision to make. Come on, Blade Fury. Blood and plunder. <sighs> well, I think I've lost no matter what. exactly when the new Mirror Edge game is coming out. It's, it's one that's just kind of pass, pass me by, unfortunately. Here we go. We only need to play six more characters. We're not winning as much as we did on casual. <laughs> that is definitely recognizable. So last episode I said recognize that I'm not losing as much. Well, also recognize that the, part of the reason why I'm not losing as Valeria much is because I am you ask for specifically and intentionally playing on casual now instead of playing ranked mode uh, yeah so yeah I just realized that Mirror's Edge is a game I'm missing and Fallout 3 is another game that I intentionally chose to skip. It just couldn't, just couldn't do it. Just couldn't play that super long game. Fallout New Vegas is the same thing. Let's see, if I summoned this and then played this next turn. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this, and then this, and then just end my turn. And that should work next turn. If we get this down to two, does it count towards our quest? I guess it would. So we needed six. There's one, two, three already. If I can summon all those. What to do? What to do? Uh, 
So, notice a friend just came online. That's the first time in this entire recording session anybody's come online. And that goes to show just a great example of how hard it is to do the watch and learn quest. Blood and plunder! Let's go ahead and take Here two damage and go. kill this guy. So next turn, summon this, summon this, or summon this, and summon this. Let's see. I could summon one of these. But I think I just want this and this. Get these guys out. Hit the base. Here and then we'll hit go. the base again. I think that works well. So being a YouTuber, there's no real like Christmas break or Christmas lull with an office might slow go. down and not try to accomplish as much. Of course I'm sure some offices are are very busy during Christmas and not doing anything, but as a YouTuber there's really no stopping for anything or no no consideration for any of the seasons. Uh, you just keep on recording and keep on recording. That's the right move. So that. Then that. For a head crack. Hit that. And then. Here we go. Yes, we'll do that. I don't think it particularly helps to uh, that it really helps to for me to take breaks like that anyways. Hmm. I know at go. one job you, you effectively had there was a whole bunch of rules on the vacation you could take I and the fire lord. it seemed you could technically take I think if I'm remembering right I think you could technically take two days or one specific day off and you were given five specific days well you could take played. off and then you were given one week you had to take as a whole just as a week here gonna, we go you have to take those off let's see if I do this and then this, it would do two damage. If I do this and then this, it would do one damage. Watch this, watch this. Nice, nice move there. Thought that through. Doesn't matter, he still won. But was close. Was real close. I'll well play that. I can't well, well play it. Alright, so we just need two more things. Uh so as far as the vacation thing went, what I tried at least one year. Was I was I said fine then, just schedule it all together, and 
completely uh Valera completely Udan. give me the entire Your vacation shall be mine. uh all Watch together and back. uh this job was so frustrating that even though I had two weeks and I, honestly I think I had more than two weeks because uh, there's this thing called the Family Medical Leave Act that I was able to use where you can it, you can l take some unpaid time off to take care of a family member or take care of yourself if you're seriously sick and uh, it's still a it's a mess of a system but it's there it's at least in the something to help you there to keep people bosses from firing you the second you are sick or break a leg or something uh, but so I use that and I think I may have even taken up like a month or more off but the game the job was so frustrating like the day I came back I was like all right this is the same oh, old BS stuff uh, I that was driving me crazy. So, I don't see a real reason, uh, for me particularly taking, my point here is, uh, taking large chunks of time off is not gonna really help anything. I, I do go sometimes two, maybe three, maybe even four days at most, uh, in which I don't record anything. But anything more than that, it's it's probably just gonna slow me down. Here we go. And I don't think I need to, a vacation as much in this job as I did in others, because this is something I actually love to do. Uh, I don't think you could probably find a point where where I said I hate. This now, or this is driving, this is irritating me. Um, let's see. If I do this, then I could, could do this. Power this up. Actually, I probably should have attacked the face first. But whatever. Blood and plunder. There we go. Attack. Attack. Here we I go. believe I've already got the quest Don't done die. now, so this will be the last game, but I don't know how you really, the The truth is two weeks off in vacation every year is not enough. Uh, Americans in particular need to embrace the European style of just less, less, six hour, six what was it? Uh, I think Sweden's going to six hour work days now. Uh, it, that's really where it has to get to, is that we have figured out how to make things efficient and so that people don't need to spend as much time on things. And in countries like Sweden, they say, oh, that's good. That means everybody can keep their job and work a little less, which is the right approach. And in America, what that right, means, right. What, what they say, the boss will say is, oh, that's good. That means I can fire somebody and make the person that I don't fire do his job no. for the same pay, which is no good. <laughs> and inherently, that is what's going wrong and from my perspective with jobs is that they anytime any boss says productivity is up that means he's he's ready and willing and thinking about firing somebody so that he can make everybody who's left do more work or he's already fired somebody and everybody else is doing more work which is uh, you don't want productivity to go up basically is the, the truth of it you just don't want that you want it to Stay at what it's at, maybe even go down, because in a society where everybody has to be paid to make a living and survive, then we need to keep everybody, as many people as possible, employed, and there aren't new 
businesses starting up uh, in this depression. That, um, that was never the solution anyways. Uh, new, new technology, new businesses has never made up for what we've lost. The unemployment results sometimes will sneakily try to look like that, but it's not the truth because the way unemployment works is that people eventually just give up. They quit looking for jobs. And then those don't get counted. So I, it's easy to fudge the numbers when you do things like that. Sadly, uh, quite a lot of people would still consider me unemployed, even though I'm working super hard. And with the amount of ad revenue I get, it it is an at least somewhat unarguable point. But I don't look at it that way. Uh, anywho, that's a weird point to stop at, but that's where we are going to stop. We've done all of our quests for this recording session. I'm going to go start recording a new series, and we are at 3,605 gold, which is great news. We only need 1,400 more, and then we're at the 5,000 goal, and then... After we get to 5,000, I just want 150 for the arena runs, and then we'll start doing arena runs again. That will probably start pushing us into four recordings every three days, which will push us further ahead in the future, which actually I need now. I didn't need it three or four months ago, but now that I've got everything scheduled three or four months in advance sometimes, and sometimes lots, that that's starting to happen. I may very well get up to a year in advance or two, which is fine, it will be a little weird then. But, anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. If you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.